hit Altuve's three home runs help route the Red Sox. MLB analyst Eduardo Perez joining me now. So, yeah, that happened. But Chris Sale also got absolutely lit up, tied a uh, season high for most runs allowed. Didn't get a lot of help from that offense, though. Um, that struggled throughout the year. Now they turn and face Dallas Keuchel. Can they fix it? How do they fix it? Well, the good thing is baseball, we're all used to playing every day. Brothers and all, but we're not getting on this banana boat because that pitcher is going to live in infamy, <laughs> just like you said. And then you can be asked about it for the next Forever. 50 years. Absolutely. <laughs> Dwayne Wade, no, he wanted to be on that boat. He was the ringleader, probably. Real quick, though, on the very end there, that shot, they took off Gabrielle Union's head and put on Carmelo Anthony, which was wrong. Gabby, we know you was on the front of that boat, girl. Yes, indeed. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> all right, so now D. Wade in Cleveland for a year right now. Um, as this roster is currently constructed. What do you see as their biggest player in the world? Do you see how you skip right over the East? Yes. He's like, watch this. Yes. Oh. Well, I mean, that's really what it's about. Yeah. Right. Talk, right? Boston's going to be there. They were the number one. I spoke out yesterday. Said if he was still playing, he would kneel for the national anthem. So I'm curious to know, if you were still playing, what would you do? That's a great question. I would bring that up because the message had been lost. Yes. The message had been lost in the action. So thank you for that. And the NBA does have a rule that players and coaches must stand for the national anthem. That is what it and is. And the message have been cherry-picked. Like, like Jerry Jones, like seriously, like y'all are going to... Season have been talked about and talked about. Eduardo Perez back with us. Everybody knows who this is. Uh, it have been talked about and talked about and talked about. A 4.55 ERA in the postseason, making his 18th, uh, 16th start today. But he's facing the Diamondbacks, 2-0 against the Diamondbacks, .59 ERA against them this season. So what do the Diamondbacks do to get to him today? I think they've already done enough. You have to... The Diamondbacks, we've got to get to what happened on Wednesday in that wild card game. Their coach, Ariel Prado, apologized for wearing an Apple Watch in the dugout. Said it's an honest mistake, dude. It was on airplane mode. <laughs> so let's everybody chill out. What's your reaction? I'm, to what laughing. I'm laughing because you have to understand, Ariel Prieto and I, we go a long way back. He was my winter ball Rockies. Nick, if you just didn't eat that popcorn, nobody would have no. ever said anything. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Bryce Harper. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce Harper's played just five games since he was out for a month and a half. Uh, here he goes, comes out in the postseason. What do you expect from him? I hope to see the best Bryce Harper. We're, we In our duty, ESPN.com NFL insider Mike Clay joining me now. So here, Deshaun Watson goes and balls out. A, do we pick him up? And B, do, who do we start him over? Yeah, I'm not, uh, not going to play the buzzkill role on Watson. You know, a yes. lot of times you see these guys going up and down, up and down, and le level out at some point. He's just playing so well. Yeah. I'm listening to mm -hmm. you. Uh, Dalvin Cook out for the year. Who are you picking up in that backfield for the Vikings? Tough loss for Minnesota. Well, you have to give them credit. They had a backup plan ready, and that's Latavius Murray. Now, he's barely played this season, but while, while he was with the Raiders, he was a top 13. All right, Mike, joining us here on a Tuesday. Of course, we do our three and out here on the Tuesdays. Uh, big, three biggest takeaways from week four. What are yours? Well, you have to start with Derek Carr. It's brutal as well. So yeah, those, those defenses oof. are legit. Yeah, it's pretty much almost every game left is really hard. I think it's seven of his next ten is a really good defense, and the two and two of the other three are the Cardinals. That's a tough divisional de uh, defense there as well. So it's, it's going to be tough sledding. As well as they're playing, I know, and you don't just want to give away Gurley, but you have to try and get another. Some love here. Bonus info. You called Chris Thompson on Twitter the poster boy for week four regression to the mean. 27 yards on seven touches on my roster. Minus point three, and I was asking you all last week, what do I do with Chris Thompson? Sell You're high. like, you sell, sell high. high. This is your time. So I had to give you that love. Join Mike and I and the team Sundays, 10 a.m. Eastern time.